alpaca fact from cover to cover. Welcome back, Mere Mortalites, to another edition of the Mere Mortals Book Reviews, where we look to break down the juicy books, the interesting books out there for your benefit, and indeed, perhaps, so you can go out and read it as well. Today, I have The Little Book of Alpaca Philosophy by Jennifer McCartney. Now, this is a very small little book, only a few hundred pages in length, um, with lots of images, quizzes, and a few different things, um, interesting poems thrown in the mix. It is a little mixed bag, and it is something very different to what I would normally read, so it was quite interesting to actually get into it. This is a book that I found uh, at my parents' place, and I thought, hey, let's give this a, a different read. It, it looks small. Let's see what wisdom we can learn from the little book of alpacas. And right away as well, I just wanted to call out Jennifer McCartney. Uh, she's written a few other books and I'll just list some of these out. Um, she has written for The Atlantic and Publishers Weekly and she's also the author of The Little Book of Sloth Philosophy and The Little Book of Otter Philosophy. So she's well-versed in animals and so perhaps we'll see what we'll learn from the alpaca philosophy. I'll probably be able to share and tell you what the other philosophy books might actually be like. So what is the book all about? This little alpaca philosophy book. Well, um, it is just that. It tackles uh, very simple, very wide-ranging philosophy in the way that it's structured down in the book. And it does so with mixing, mixing in interesting facts about alpacas, um, as well as original poems, quizzes to let, let you know, you know what sort of animal might you be. And it tries to convey very simple, very uh, simply philosophy through the eyes of how might an alpaca react because of it and what would an alpaca do during hard times or during a cold times or during stressful times, etc. Now, it is actually broken up into, in this particular book, um, two big sections, one being just a, I'll pack your bags, let's talk about it, and then the climb method for being karma, and I'll go through what the climb method actually is, and then a second practical guide around health and happiness, love and family and friendship, leisure and pleasure, work and school and home and the universe. So fairly big concepts, but indeed not too much that you can do with a very small book. However, it, it tries and it doesn't lie where there's a little book of philosophy. Um, so that first section around unpacking the bags and being a bit of an introduction it really does just that. And I'm just going to hold this up as well if you're seeing a bit of a visual, but I'll, I'll talk about it as well to the camera. Um, it, it is a book where it's a mixture of cute alpaca pictures really with um, some quotes and, and actual texts and conversations from, from the actual author, Jennifer. So quotes such as goes, you know, life goes by fast, enjoy it, calm down, it's all funny. Next, everyone gets so upset about the wrong things and then goes into a particular text that only lasts, you know, a few pages. Now, the big uh, call out, I guess, from this book, uh, so at the beginning is a climb method. So being for being calmer and wiser, again, referring it back to um, alpacas in, in a myriad of ways. So that climb, just so you, uh, we're aware of it, is C, check out, L, log out and letting it go, I, imagining it the other way around, M, meeting halfway and B, being kind. So I guess this is a, a way to interact with other individuals, um, being able to essentially just step back, prioritizing and executing. Now, there's many ways of differently saying this. Um, and then the rest of the book then just goes into very, um, very simple, very straightforward things. Again, this is sort of the way that you perhaps might explain philosophy to someone who has never really looked into philosophy. So I'd probably say it's like a good way to look into philosophy. Um, it doesn't go into any deep, uh, you know, chasms of ideas, no uh, contradicting, thoughts, contradicting thoughts or anything in between. It just sort of plays out, a, you know, what would be the right way to act in this world in different examples and alpaca quotes. Um, and I like all the alpaca facts. I'll just pick up a random one as I opened up here. The Incas referred to the Alpex, alpaca fleece as the fleece of the gods and use it as currency. Uh, but try buying a loaf of bread with a bit of alpaca fur today, though, probably not as easy. Um, so there's a, there's a bit of humor interspersed throughout the book as well. So mainly, uh, what are the themes in the book? Look, just simple expressions um, and quotes and to try to get your, your thoughts into what should be the right thing. Uh, indeed, 
the theme of this, as I just mentioned before, it's somewhat um, an introductory piece of philosophy. It's a bit of a fun read. It really wouldn't take you uh, very long at all. And it might be something that you find gifting yourself to somebody else. I mean, quite young, just to introduce them to some concepts and some to, some ideas um, centered with alpacas because they are very cute animals. Um, uh, my personal observations, it's a very fun, quirky, easy to read book. It wasn't a challenge at all, um, not no, my, by no means at all. And that's why I was sort of saying the other books, which was uh, Sloth Philosophy and Otter Philosophy. I would imagine that um, from Jennifer would be very, very similar books, um, just with different uh, facts of those animals and just comparing ideas um, to those animals to try to convey some sort of uh, comparison and relation. One interesting thing that I did find was, and I'm going to make sure I want to find this thing, it's on page 89, that she actually referred to, and I'm struggling to even say page numbers right now, um, Bitcoin in general. So there was a, a big section uh, in this book. Um, and I'll, let me just find that exact, <laughs> that exact page. Um, uh, doesn't matter, don't have to actually find it. Where she actually talks about um, comparing the the cost or the value of, you know, digital money uh, and, you know, what is a good thing if we can give value to, to digital money, um, then we can give value to a lot of other things, which I thought it was just an interesting little quip because it is a fairly recent book written in 2020. Um, beside that, look, it's uh, it's a little book, so it's going to be a little book review. There's not much more else to say in terms of a rating for this book. I actually gave it uh, a five out of ten. Why, why a five out of ten? Um, it was fun. It was a fine, fun, fun, quirky book. Again, uh, would I go back and reread it? Not particularly. Was there anything outstanding in here that I've um, not really read before or helped connect some of the dots across across other things? Look, not really. But it made its. Uh, the, the value for you know a couple of hours of reading, um, it's more than worth it and it was good fun. And it's probably some, a book that I'm probably going to go and give away, um, particularly maybe to to a younger friend um, who might uh, want to read it and pass on the quirkiness as well. Um, what are your thoughts around books like this where it's um, you know about pretty fundamental basic ideas centered around interesting, quirky, um, perhaps uh Focal points like the alpaca or the sloth or maybe around nature or the like. Do you enjoy that? Do you disagree with it? Um, let me know. A boost is always a, a, a good way to communicate back with us here at the Mere Mortals podcast. Um, and indeed, if you want to hear us talk <laughs> broadly, uh, broadly in, in philosophizing uh, about everyday life, perhaps as simply as alpacas do or maybe a little bit more deeply, we do that do that over in our Mere Mortals podcast, the main podcast channel. So if you're not following us there, make sure that you do. For now, the Immortalites, that is it. That is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed. One out.